Done. So where so where are you at now in your life? Uh, you know, I'm I'm in a pretty happy place right now. Um, uh, I was gone for ten months. Uh, I got really depressed. Um, uh, about I, I've been back like three months. It's like I did a comeback, and then I kind of went MIA after winning like my second Hall of Fame and mm-hmm. best comeback, and everything was great. And then I got depression, and um, I don't know. You can't explain depression because unless somebody's had it, but I literally just didn't want to get out of bed. I was so yeah. fucking sad, and um, I stopped going on social media, you know, and I I just. I don't know. I almost threw away my entire comeback. Like wow. I was on antidepressants, antipsychotics, and that made me even worse. Yeah, I was just so loopy. And um, I've I've been shooting now about three months back from being under you know really bad depression. My fans know because they were trying to contact me the entire time. They never stopped you know sending messages and trying to call me, the ones that had my number. And I just wouldn't even look at my phone anymore. It became yeah. like an enemy to me. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Yeah, people trying to break into that like wall that you're trying to build up around yourself. I just didn't know what to say. Like yeah. I didn't know what was wrong with me. Everyone's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's happening to me. Yeah. I'm just fucking sad. Yeah. Now, did the depression kind of lift on its own or did you take like active measures to to combat it that you feel have worked? Um, I was uh, I moved uh, out of the place I was at and um, I just have been forcing myself every day to get up. I've been really, you know, going to the gym, um, not hanging around negative influences. Um, And I've just you know, suddenly I just kind of felt better. I don't know how to explain it, but it definitely wasn't the medication that made me feel better. Yeah. Because that made me feel really, really worse. Yeah. It's really, it's hard. I went through like a big depression last year, like last year, the beginning of last year, my business like tanked, like all this stuff happened at the same time. Mm -hmm. And, um, I went through a really bad depression and I, um, was actually just thinking about it the other day and I would write stuff on social media, you know, I'd be like, just so you guys know, like, I'm having a really hard time right now. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not happy. I don't know where my place is in the industry, you know, like a lot of, like I, a couple clients had dropped me and I'm like, I don't have like a direction. Like, where am I going to go if I don't work in porn? Like, what the fuck am I going to do with my life? You know, this is, this has been my whole life. I've been in it for 20 years. Um, and I really felt like rudderless. Mm-hmm. And and I was super depressed and I felt really alone and um like my fans were so amazing like the you know because sometimes they say like social media can be a really toxic place and it can be but it can also be like an amazing support group you know I mean people were so kind to me and said the most wonderful things and it made like a big difference for me and um yeah same kind of thing as you like I refused to go on medication um I saw a therapist a lot. I went to more meetings. Um, I started like, I mean, I always have worked out, but I really made sure that I stuck with that. I started doing meditation. Mm-hmm. I actually did Reiki healing, which was something that I always thought was a little bit like woo woo and wizardy. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I hired this woman and I did Reiki healing with her like once a week for like a month and, and did sound bath meditations. And that all helped a lot. And I think just the accumulation of just actively trying different things to like change my mind really yeah. helped. And, you know, I'm not like perfect. I definitely have my days when I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to work today. Like, I don't want to like adult today. I just kind of wit- like, I wish everything was easier and like things still give me anxiety, but it's like, yeah, it's a daily reprieve, man. It's, it it's is. a battle. Yeah. I mean, I, sometimes I wake up and I, and I get scared cause I feel that feeling in my chest and I never want to go back to that low, the lowest I was during that depression. Yes. Cause it was so bad. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even want to get out of bed Yeah, for days at a time. Yeah. Like, and, um, when I feel like that, you know, sometimes now I will pick up my phone and look at my social media and, you know, my fans are j- just so supportive cause it was really embarrassing and hard to get back on social media after just MIA for like 10 months, you yeah. know, I'm like just hey, here's my first tweet in like 10 months. Yeah, and it's like you you want to appear professional, right? You don't want to like, 
you know, you're supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be a place where your professional persona comes forward and everything's perfect and everything's yeah. great. And I'm so, I love my job and everything's well, amazing. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, I bet everyone thinks I went off the rails and mm-hmm. I'm like was on a drug bender. And I was like, no, you know, I, I literally was in bed. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.